Welcome to Kick Him in the Head, a podcast that takes an inside look at the world of mixed martial arts, featuring interviews with some of the top fighters from South Africa and around the world, with a focus on the EFC and UFC promotions. I'm your host, Yao. Join us as we delve deep into the techniques, strategies, and mindsets of these world-class athletes, learning from their experiences and gaining insights into what it takes to succeed in the toughest sport on earth. Here we are again, Yao. Once again, Shahid. Shahid, how are you today? Yo, I'm always good when we're chatting, chatting to the fighting homies, man. The big guys, the guys that put their lives on the line to entertain, <laughs> baby. Who are we talking to today? Today we have a very special guest, the Zulu warrior, yes, sir. Tango Zondi. Oh, we had a baby. chat with him earlier at EFC 107 and phenomenal phenomenal fighter uh, and Intando, welcome to the kick him the head podcast Yay. thank you thank you guys thank you for having me guys thank you so Intando, the way we like to start our show is with a little quiz that i think you'll like mm -hmm. are you ready i'm ready i'm ready always ready <laughs> who's your favorite fighter john jones Yay. beautiful straight away yeah Man, <laughs> <laughs> I like the scene, seeing a juxtaposition here. <laughs> What's your favorite fighting style? Mm, I love, I love stand up, man. I love watching stand up. Who doesn't love stand up, you know? So I guess it would have to be like kickboxing, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's without a semi style bend of things. Yeah. What's your favorite move? Mm, damn, that's a difficult one. <laughs> I don't want to give away my, my secrets here, but like, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to go with the, with the head kick, man. We have to yeah, go. Yeah, give it head, baby. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. We will fight to forever loading. <laughs> uh, if you could fight anyone, living or dead, who would you fight? Let me look at the flyweights in the UFC. Let's see. I'd, actually, I'd love to fight Brandon Moreno. I don't know. I think he's very tough very wow. durable i think i think yeah i think that would be my dream fight if i had to like off the bat i think yeah brandon moreno she was the juxtaposition of those styles would be awesome yeah. you guys, that that striking <laughs> striking would bang off yeah Gee that would is. be a banger yeah, that would be a good fight yeah Gee yeah. name three illegal moves and have you suffered any of those moves or committed any of those fouls mm -hmm. <laughs> um i pokes uh grand strikes what else uh 12 to 6 elbow i've i've, I've like i think in every fight you 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 most likely get kicked or hit in the groin um so yes that's <laughs> you, 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 know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know um and uh, yeah the, my second to last fight um was a very con controversial ending mm. apparent apparent grand strike so uh I guess. But you solidified it now with this this last fight, so, yeah, so, so <laughs> no question marks there. No questions, no questions on the second one, you know. So I guess, yeah, fair enough. It's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie about fighting? Mm. Um, that was hard. No, I've never really watched. It. I've watched, but like years, years ago, I can't. Um, I th there's this movie, I think it's Fan Dam, or, or I'm not sure. Who, yeah, I think it is him. Um, where he gets revenge for his brother or or, or best friend kickboxer. or something like that. Yeah, yes, yeah, the kickboxer. Yeah, we actually kickboxer. we actually um, what my friend my friend and I, well, one of my my captain, the SA Muay Thai captain, after one of one of our fights, I, that's a movie we watched in the hotel in Thailand. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a very oh, good movie wow. as well. So it was it was actually pretty ironic because it was. It, it was sort of about Muay Thai, the you know the beginning of Muay Thai as well. Yes. Um, was was this kickboxer versus this legend of Muay Thai? So, yeah, it's, it's a very beautiful and violent movie. Yeah, I love that one. That's so yeah. awesome, man! Brilliant answer. Yeah. Now, this question for you is a bit tricky because we know the answer. But have you ever kicked someone in the head for a win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hard, 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 hard. Hard. <laughs> how, how does it feel when the shin or the foot or whichever part hits the head when it makes contact how does it feel 
I don't know, like, I think for me it was, it, it, I can't say it's a beautiful feeling because I, I honestly, in my last fight, I honestly thought I kicked him in the body. I only realized afterwards, after the fight, that I um, well, I kicked him in the head. Because I don't know, I just, I think also adrenaline. And I just threw the kick, so he sort of met it halfway. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's just a sweet feeling of seeing someone like, you know, it's like game over. It's just that, it's that feeling of, you know, you can sort of like breathe and be like, okay, you know. But I think it's just, I, I, there's no words for it. It's like, a, it's, it's just very sweet, man. I think that's the best way I can put it. It's a sweet feeling. Beautiful, man. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how big of an MMA enthusiast are you? I, I definitely, maybe, maybe even a, a 12 or 13. I love MMA. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love the whole dynamic about it. I love, I love the whole mixed martial arts aspect of it, you know, combination of all different like different uh, martial arts forms um i love it man honestly i'm a massive fan of, of mma i love watching fights almost every ufc card i'm up 1 a.m 2 a.m in the morning watch, watching every single fight but also as a fighter i feel like you have to so you can study you know that's your time mm -hmm. to sort of study and watch like um i saw i was watching something by valentina shevchenko yesterday she was saying um uh, most mma fighters we don't just watch mma because we enjoy it we, you watch and you study you know that's a that's the the gift you have as a fighter is like you don't you don't watch it as a normal fan anymore you sort of study everything so it's, yeah you have to watch it and you have to really enjoy it so yeah that's wonderful man yeah. and then just a little bit about you as a fighter what propelled you as a young man in fighting that could be doing anything be acting in movies modeling um accounting i, I don't know yeah. man you could be doing anything why fighting why mma I, don't, I think ever since I was young, man, I've always had like this knack for like phys physicality. Like I used to play rugby from I think from like grade two. Uh, I used to play rugby. I always had this, and I love combat sports as well. So I was always a smaller guy. Uh, played rugby until I think I was like grade ten, and then like size does definitely matter in rugby. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta find something else. Now, you know, <laughs> I'm a little too small now. So um, I still carried on a little bit until I found there was a, a kickboxing gym that opened back home. And I was like, okay, let's give this a try. I mean, there's weight classes for a reason as well in MMA. So I started off with kickboxing. I, I really enjoyed it. Also, like, the physicality, the fitness about it. I enjoyed that. And then it just took off from there. I mean, I was I was massive. I think back, back then, I was, like, a massive fan of uh, Zulu Boy, Kazmulo Zulu, Demar mm -hmm. Pena, um, Juan Gia, Andrew Fancel. Those are the people where you, when, like, 10 years ago, when you turn on your, your DSTV and you see EFC Africa. It was EFC Africa back then. You'd see yeah. Zulu. You'd see Demart, you'd see Faiz, you know, all these people, and you'd be like, no, I really, I, I love this. I, I want to do this, you know. Um, and I think that 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 added to the feel. And then I was like, okay, let's, let's give this a try. But I, I enjoy it, man. I really, I honestly do enjoy it. It's, it's amazing to hear that passion from such a young, focused fighter. I can hear your focus and I can hear your passion. How yeah. does it feel to work with somebody that you used to watch fight, like Demart Pene? Because sometimes Honestly, some fighters get starstruck. I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, I was when I first when I first met. I didn't even realize. I think when I first got to you, when I used to train at UMF, um, I had obviously the person that introduced me to UMF was Tamba. So that moment of being starstruck, I first met Tamba, and I was like, you know. And then the next day at the gym, it was Sylvester, it was Nicholas, it was Demart. Everyone at once. All these people that you see on TV when you when you you know. So I think. At, at, with Sylvester as well, I was like, yeah, I was like, is that really, you know? And Demart, but they're they're very they're very very, very wonderful um, guys, very calm. Um, you would never say, you know, these are these are legit legit guys. You know, they're very calm, they're very down to earth. Um, I, I honestly respect them, and, and that's what helps with like the the feeling of being starstruck. If it's someone like maybe if I don't know how Adesanya is, but I think I'd still be starstruck for days if I met Adesanya, you know. But you know, you'd, you'd be walking around, you'd be like, oh, I can't believe I met Adesanya. But with Demart and them, they were so, they're very humble, man. We went straight to work, too. It's like, they, it wasn't like a moment of uh, Demart, whenever, you know, it was straight away. I didn't even get a chance to sort of like introduce myself. We went straight into training. Um, and they're hard workers, man. They're training 24-7. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's also another secret of mine as to how, how fast I've progressed into the sport with the people I train with. You know, I trained with, I've been training with like champions. So, yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, attribute to have. Mm. 
and now being a champion yourself from versus what is your next step and can you give us a little bit of an insight what it took to get there to be the champion of versus um so the next step i'd love to get one or two more fights but i mean it's, it's a bit more I, I really wanted to take a break work on my strength work on my size as well so uh, either one or two more fights for versus or, or or just turn pro as well i mean i feel like i'm also ready to turn pro um i'd be prepared for that um to get to where i am now it, it, it was quite a, it was quite a, a journey man it was also very it was very fast um i think my first mma fight was actually last year no last of last year i think yeah my, that was my first first fight um i've never i've never had to pick a fight i never had to choose anyone you just get a message from demart saying hey listen you're fighting, you're fighting <laughs> fighting this guy and there's no there's no questions about it. it's like hey man you, you're fighting this guy so the answer is always yes and i've i think i've always been given hard guys i've always been given guys with a massive with a bigger record than mine i don't think i've fought anyone that has less fights than me um all these guys have had experience at african level or international level as well so i think like i said earlier as training with all these people like demart sylvester tamba all these guys they've they've groomed me to become who i am today i'm not I'm not really i'm not concerned about who i i fight really i mean obviously i would i'd love to know who i fight prepare for that person but i'm not it's not going to change i'm not going to say no you know so it's always it's always been game time for me i've i've accepted every fight that i've got i've been given not that i've been given options either so <laughs> fight and you go and fight and i think i think that's why i got but i had to also at versus i had to i had to meet to cameron a couple of times every time i'd see him at emc i'd be like hey man i, I want i want the title shot the first time i'd asked him he was very honest with me he told me my record is a bit too small let's let's build the record i said like, okay cool and i fought two more guys and eventually he gave me the shot against calvin smith obviously ended controversially and then we had to book a rematch but i mean that was like it was it was a you know it was straight away it wasn't like a thing of should you guys fight it was straight away we booked the rematch um we fought less than a month after that and yeah that's how i got to where i am now that's beautiful man yeah. and versus as a promotion what it, it's fairly new in in the south african space it's held in pretoria can you give mm. us some insight being one of their champions into the promotion itself? Oh man, I think it's a versus an incredible uh, promotion, incredible incredible platform. Um it gives you it gives you that that introduction to pro level. Uh, you know, it it feels like you you're fighting at the highest level, you know. Um the whole production, the team, everyone's amazing, the, the commentators, we, I mean you've got Simon Stevens as a commentator, you know, the e uh, EFC uh, commentator. How how close is that to feeling like a pro fight, you know? Um exactly. It feels incredible, they treat you well um i mean i i have nothing bad to say about versus the incredible promotion yeah i look forward to what they have in future too i think they, there's big plans there so uh, incredible promotion that's wonderful and um is there are you looking at any sponsorships because you do have like this star quality this this vibe about you that is quite drawing I felt it when I was chatting to you the first time at the EFC. Um, I felt it when we were chatting this time when with the title, it was solidified. Is there any big moves in terms of, I know we see Gift on SABC, we're seeing the fighters come out more and more in the limelight. Do you have, obviously you're a young fighter and obviously you need to work on your training, but we've seen you in the social media spotlight as well is that and do you have any plans to push yourself more into the the social media side of fighting because we do know that you have a way with words and you're very eloquent and we'd love to see you chat on the mic a bit more is there any more plans to further that yeah definitely i think as a fighter you've got to be able to promote yourself as well without being without having this ego without being disrespectful i think you've always got to you know, have respect for you, everyone around you, but also promote yourself. I'm trying to push myself, trying to get as many sponsors as I can. It's very difficult, but you know, you got to try and you got to keep pushing. Um, and social media is a great platform for that. So you got to you got to make connections. Man. <laughs> Everything in life is about connections yeah, and networking. So um, yeah, it's getting there slowly, slowly but surely. No rush, but uh, yeah, rough, uh, it will get there. What's been your most challenging fight so far? 
Uh, let's see. No shade on any of your other opponents. No, no, definitely, no, definitely no disrespect. But I'd say it would have to be a Muay Thai. When I fought in Thailand, I think it was a, a fought. Uh, I can't remember his name. Alexander something. Another Russian guy. Um, I think it was only challenging mentally uh, because uh, he had way, way, way more experience than me. Um, especially in Muay Thai, I've only fought I think two or three times in Muay Thai. I'm not even sure. Um, so it was, I think it was more pressure because I mean, it's representing a country. It's not just fighting, you know, a fight like a normal fight. It's like representing a country, re representing a country. You got a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Um, so I think it was difficult in terms of like mentally, but once I got inside the ring, I think it's sort of, you know, I was like, okay, I mean, this is not, it's not as bad as I, you know, I think that's probably the most challenging fight I've ever, um, out of all, all the fights I fought, not that the, the rest weren't challenging. Calvin Smith was actually very challenging the last the last fight we fought because I feel like they really did their homework. They they went back to the drawing board and because I mean the first fight we had, I, f I was too comfortable. I felt too comfortable. I was cruising. I wasn't you know. Second fight it was they made incredible adjustments. Um, I could still I, I felt like I needed more time to read him. So I think that the first round was a bit you know I needed to sort of like study study study, and then second round I started. You know, I adjusted. I knew, I knew what what to do, but he was. Yeah, I would also say he was, he was also a very, very challenging opponent, um, as well as the, his his teammate. I think uh, Pilani, very difficult to to sort of like read. It's not like fights where you can't win, but it's like fights where you're like, mm, you know, you really have to use your brain here, you know, because it's it's not anything special on both sides from myself or them, but it's like you really have to be smart in those fights. So I think that's what, that's what makes him difficult. You've mentioned studying, being smart, learning, knowing your opponent multiple and numerous times. Is there a fighter that you watch and when you watch them, you're actually learning from the art that they're producing, not necessarily just watching a fight? Because as you said, it's about a lot of learning and, and watching to learn. So is there a fighter that does that for you? Weirdly enough, it's actually Valentina Shevchenko because I feel like people don't... I mean, yes, she's she's the goat at flyweight, but I, I, people underestimate how smart she really is. You know, she doesn't just throw. Yes, the last fight she threw a spinning. What's it? What's that? Like, I don't even know what she, yeah, she tried to do a spinning head kick, and then you know, she got you know, she got yeah. taken down. But she is a very smart and calculated fighter. Um, I, I love to watch Dan Hooker. I wouldn't say he's more. He's a lot technical, but he's. Dan. Who does not love watching Dan Hooker? You know, I love, um, I love, I love a good Dan Hooker fight. I love a good Dan Hooker fight. Smart, and not to and not to be, you know, people will be like, eh, but honestly speaking, Demont, I like, and I, as much as, yes. uh, you know, he that guy. He's he's very. It's like you won't say Demont's the best striker. You won't say he's the best, but he's up here. I think he's definitely one of the smartest fighters really? I've ever had to like watch and. You know, he's very, it's like he's always two steps ahead. He's always, you know, and also humble in that approach too. It's like, uh, I don't know, man. As the Martis, Valentina, Dan Hooker to watch, uh, and John Jones, obviously, you have to. You have to. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Smart, smart, smart fighter, man. Yeah. That's so awesome, man. And so you, you've spoken about Demart and how he's influenced you. Is there any other fighters like Sylvester or Nick that you've created a bond with in the gym or, or created like, or your training partners that have actually influenced these camps that you've had leading up to your fights? It definitely, 100%. Um, with the whole gym situation, I, 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 as it's like I train with various, various gyms as well. Uh, Sylvester, Sylvester and Corvus, the whole team at Corvus, Sylvester, Devin, uh, Godwin, uh, Simba. Simba has helped me a lot, man. He, he, those guys, uh, Simba Rasha Okonya, he just fought now at UFC um, against Posomi. The Hawk. The Hawk, yeah. <laughs> those guys are very helpful. Sylvester, Nicholas, uh, Zulu, uh, Stembi Sohad, David, those guys are, oh, man, those guys have helped me endlessly, man. I appreciate those guys. They've, 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 they've built me, man. Every, everyone, everyone in the team has, has, you know, they've built me to be where I am today. From from Tamba, from the beginning, uh, to where I am now. Every single person has helped me. Nicholas, you know, 
in in more than in, in, even even outside of fighting, man, they've, they've 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 helped me mature even as a man. So yeah, I appreciate every single every single team member of mine. Man. And and then just a last last question, we have to pull yeah. it in here. If you have to choose anybody in the EFC as a come in fight, who you, who you picking? Who you calling out? Gift Walker. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, man, no, I, I love I love Gift, man. I just I don't know. There's this. I, I honestly love and respect him. I, I, I'd love to. I think if we had to reshape the question as a dream fight, it would have to be Gift yeah. Walker, man. What, what, how could the you EFC? Not the yes, the EFC. If you had to say in Africa, who would you love to, man? I love and respect that guy so much, and yeah, that will be that will be my dream fight. But <laughs> why not? Yeah. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful, my homie. Yeah. Beautiful. So, do I take it that that's your call out? Is there anyone else you want to call out? What do you want next? As no, I'm, I'm, I, I've never called anyone out, and I don't think I ever will. Um, I, I, I like I said, I love and respect him. Uh, who, who do I want? Anyone, man. Let's let's fight. Let's just fight, man. Anyone. If, that's all it's about it, this fight, maybe yes. a nice into um, into Melo, uh, Manya Mala, uh, new Manya hey, Mala man. awesome. that guy is my, I, I, let me I think that guy is one of my favorite fighters in the EFC honestly speaking very calm cool guy's styles that he's fight he's very be... yeah he's very very smart as well he's very cool calm collected so yeah I mean I, I, I love the guy as well there's a lot of guys in the whole of EFC besides in my besides um, my weight class I think there's a lot of guys there that are incredible fights, incredible fighters as well. Yes, beautiful. But I, I think your next fight, whoever it is you fight, I think there's definitely one way that's the best way to end a fight. And what is it? Head kick, man. You got it. You have to kick him in the head, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Right. I love it. Thank you so much, Nintendo. <laughs> Thank we you guys for having me. Thank you too, so much. You've got Thank such you. brilliant you, energy. Your star power is incredible. Yeah. And we are going to see you catapult to the very tippy top. We know it, Thank brother. You. We know it. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance in the platform, man. I appreciate it. Nice uh, you're going to be on you. here way more. Don't even worry <laughs> about it. You have have here. <laughs> yeah, you. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, guys. Man. Cheers.